Hello students today we are going to discuss about one of the most important topic which had made a tremendous impact in the field of technology that is semiconductors we have already learned that the control flow of electron can produce electric current right so the devices which a control flow of electron are obtained will be the building block of electronic circuits right okay so now uh, tell me that have you ever seen the first made computer it was a very huge device right it was a very huge machine from there today in this present century we have reached till pam tops from that huge giant machine to a pam top this all happened just because we recognize the use of semiconductors so basically what are semiconductors as the name suggest it is not a conductor nor an insulator it are semiconductors which means semiconductors can be defined as a solid substance whose conductivity lies between that of an insulator and that of most of the metals that is uh, the conductivity of semiconductors lies between the conductor as well as an insulator so semiconductors are nothing but uh, a solid substance whose conductivity lies between uh, what lies between conductors as well as insulators right so semiconductors can be defined as solid substances solid substances that has conductivity that has conductivity between that of an insulator and that of an and that of most metals most metals in the sense it will be conductors right so solid substances that has conductivity between that of an insulator and that of most metals are semiconductors okay so now just think how a substance can neither be a conductor nor be an insulator it happens when there is a variation in temperature variation in temperature or by adding impurities adding impurities so these are the two factors which decides a semiconductor so what is a semiconductor it's nothing but solid substance that has conductivity between that of an insulator and that of most metals and these are the two factors wherein we can identify that uh, this is because why semiconductor is there that is the variation in temperature and adding impurities so now let's try to classify metals as conductors and semiconductors so what may be the factor which decides metal as conductors and uh, semiconductors the factor which classify metals as conductors and semiconductors are its conductivity and resistivity so basically conductivity and resistivity are those two factors which uh, classify metals as conductors and semiconductors i'm repeating the same just because that you won't be forgetting because uh, conductivity and resistivity are those two factors which classify metals and uh, metals as conductors and semiconductors so when we classify metals semiconductors and insulators on the basis of conductivity and resistivity then metal possess very low resistivity or high conductivity metals will be possessing very low resistivity or high conductivity the range of resistivity of metals are 10 raised to minus 2 to 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter and conductivity will be 10 raised to 2 to 10 raised to 8 siemens meter then when it comes to semiconductors as we have already learned we are going to discuss only about semiconductors right semiconductors will be having resistivity and conductivity intermediate to that of metals and insulators uh, if we are going through the range itself it's very easy to understand that it will be the intermediate values that is the resistivity of 
semiconductors lies from 10 raise to 5 to 10 raise to minus 6 sorry 10 raise to minus 5 to 10 raise to minus 6 ohm meter and conductivity lies from 10 raise to 5 to 10 raise to 6 Siemens per meter. When it comes to insulators we can find high resistivity and low conductivity. The range of resistivity of insulators are from 10 raise to 11 to 10 raise to 19 ohm meter and conductivity lies from 10 raise to minus 11 to 10 raise to minus 19 Siemens per meter. This is how we are classifying metals as conductors and semiconductors. So students in this video we have learned about semiconductors, what are semiconductors, what are the factors or how we are classifying metals as conductors and semiconductors etc.